Welcome to Mouster House Campers again folks. Here today we have a 1998 VW Compass Navigator on the T4 Transporter chassis with the 2.5 TDI engine, five speed manual turbo diesel. It was actually registered late June 1998, so it was only two weeks away from being an S reg. I don't think two weeks will make any difference to this vehicle approaching its 20th birthday. Fantastic condition. It's covered just less than 50,000 miles. The speedo is showing 72,000 miles as it had a second hand speedo unit fitted in two years ago, all documented. So all you need to do is take 20, approximately 23,000 miles off the mileage and that gives you the correct mileage. But I'll demonstrate and show you all that. It's all documented in the service history as well as the MOT mileage register, which you can get online. So coming back, we have a 1998 VW T4 Compass Navigator. It's the four berth model. So we'll just have a quick look around the bodywork. It's absolutely fantastic. No rust, all solid. I would suggest at some stage this has been uh, undercover to be in this condition. The only thing negative if negative is a true word on a 20 year old vehicle it's just a couple of the stripes just showing a few bits of wear but we're only being super fussy and super critical nothing that no one with a bit of uh, neat masking tape and touch up paint could not rectify again being super fussy there's a couple of little minor cracks and touch up there there's a little crack that's been rectified and made solid there but other than that, she's lovely. I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the country. You won't need to pay until you've seen it, test drove it, inspected it, made sure everything works. If for any reason you're not happy, I'll drive it back. I'm sure that won't be the case on this particular model. No rust, all solid, no filler. Same under the doors, all solid paint, beautiful seats, front is a passenger swivel, the original compass over mats, and there's the speedo showing 72,000 miles, but I had one changed at 49,000, I'll show you in the MOT, in the paperwork, and that's all signed and verified. So you take 23,000 miles off that, so you've got a current mileage of just under, just shy of 50,000 miles. As you can see, look at that steering wheel. I've now covered just about 400 miles in this myself. It's absolutely fantastic to drive. No shakes, vibration, steering wheel dead centre, clutch, gears, smooth. Bonnet. Again, no rust in the usual weak spots. This is absolutely fantastic. There you have it. The very late. 2.5 TDI engine, not to be confused with the old fashioned 2.45 cylinder. This is quite a, a modern vehicle, modern engine that was fitted on this year. Not many around at this age. Let's pop inside. Incidentally, I went away in it for a couple of days myself. 
And while he had a new leisure battery, I fitted one. So that's a brand spanking new leisure battery. So it is the four berth, so two upstairs, all important ladder. We've even got a TV. I've not had that working, but I assume it all does. It's a bonus if it works. There's a remote control in the back. Someone's put ele extra electrics in for it there. So this just pulls back there and goes to there. You've got the curtains across there, and that's your two berth upstairs. And at the top. And it's up as so. Nice condition. Nice solid roof. Blinds all round. The midge nets, fly nets. Let's have a look at the cooker. Absolutely spotless. Bit tricky to show you while I'm holding the camera. There we go. Nice blue flames. Similarly with the grill. Spotless oven as well. Under oven storage. Three way fridge that's fully working. I've checked it. I'm working on gas. Tricky to show you the pilot light, but if we can just there we go. There's a the pilot light lighting up. That's for the gas for wild camping. And then we just switch the gas off there with the safety override sparker. Just one thing I noticed on the it's got a hinge broken, being super fussy on the bottom of the freezer. Just wants a little bit of a pin or something inserting in there. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Nice condition carpets. Over mat over the lino floor for easy cleaning. I have had the gas fire working and all the ancillaries. Everything works. See if I can get it. Just about see. Can we see the spark? There we go. It's very difficult. There we go. There's the pilot light. Oh, and there she goes off. That's the gas fire working. Underneath there you've got electrics as well as mains hot water heater. Here you've got the control panel, your carver for your gas, hot water, full control panel. If we can get the water working. Absolutely. Look at that. Gold. Hot. While the pump's on, we'll just have a look in here. Gold. Hot. to show you but show it there all the lights are working shower tray shower curtain my mucky feet from this muddy field but obviously that will be cleaned wardrobe storage, mains electric, 
plus the status aerial TV amplifier. A couple of those. Oh, last person has left all the cutlery. That's a bonus. The rear seat belts. All the fixtures are operating as they should. Curtains, nice and warm upholstery. That table is freestanding, so you can use that outside in the summer, folks. And there we have it. So let's have a look at this uh, service history. It's very impressive. The last lady owner has had it for 10 years. So she bought it on the 7th for the 12th, 2007. And here we have serviced 7,000, 12,000, 16,000, 19,000, 26,000. 35,000, 37,000, then an MOT was carried out, ah, here we go, 37,000, and then on the 8th of March 07, an MOT was carried out, and the mileage was 43,163, but unfortunately the MOT inspector read his own writing as 48,163. So on the MOT history, just that one year, it's got a correct, incorrect mileage as 43, as 48 when it should be 43. So it's all been verified and counted on from there. 43, 44, 47. 48, 48 again, hardly doing any mileage, just going back and forth to the MOT station, the last lady, 48872, 49, 47, and then on the 26th of May 2015, the old Speedo had a, a fault. So they fitted a second-hand speedo, and the speedo on the new odometer was 72033, and the mileage at changing was 49366. So take one away from the other, and you've roughly got an over mileage of 23,000 miles, if that makes sense. So again, it had only done 49360. So of course, there's the service with the new mileage. You're more than welcome to ring the last MOT, uh, the last MOT and service garage who have been looking after it for 10 years, and they can verify that. But it's all documented all the way along. How's that for some service history? And all importantly, on the 27th of June 2017, the last MOT was a major. MOT service and a timing bell carried out with antifreeze and new water pump. Wowzers. £882. So it's only just been carried out a few hundred miles ago. 3 owners in total. It doesn't get much better than that. So we'll just do a quick walk around and recap. So it's a June 98 model. The very first one that was fitted with the 2.5 TDI Audi engine. It's the VW Compass Navigator, four berth. It's MOT till June. 
2018 and the only advisories on the MOT certificate was some scoring and pitting to the brake discs. So nothing to worry about there, that's just down to lack of use. I've now covered over 400 miles in this myself and the brakes are perfect, it all drives and I welcome any independent inspection. Again, I'll be happy to deliver this and drive this anywhere in the country, folks. All I ask if you're happy and want to carry out the purchase is the lift to the nearest train station. I can't be fairer or more confident than that. I will consider it any part exchange by telephone call. I'm on the end of the phone. I don't bite from 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. seven days a week. If you want to discuss a motorhome, part exchange, a camper, a car, a motorbike, but I don't get involved in texting and emails back and forth about part exchange prices. Just pick up the phone folks and we can have a sensible conversation.